your News 9 Sports. You couldn't ask for better baseball weather today as the precious few teams still left alive across the state of Wisconsin all hit the diamonds with a trip to the state tournament on the line. Now right behind me here in Gillette, two of our area teams just wrapped up playing. We'll have the highlights from their game tonight at 10 for you. But for right now, we're going to take a look at how each one of them got to this point. We started the day with Newman taking on Rib Lake. The Redmond's Jared Metcayo wastes no time getting the party started. His sack fly would kick off a three-run first inning for Rib Lake. Newman's defense would eventually wake up, though, and I'm still trying to figure out exactly how Mason Prey caught that. So the cards, with little momentum, Tyler Ackerman drives in a run in the third, and they're within two. But... That was the only run Logan Blomberg would allow today. He was sensational from the mound going six full innings as he helped propel the Redmen to the final. Where they'd face the winner of the next game, Columbus Catholic and Lena. And from the start of this one, all dawns. They had more clean cuts than a barber shop this afternoon. That one from Brock Bennington for two. This one, a two RBI triple from Cole Timler. And for the grand finale, Zane Adler putting that ball, if I could just borrow a line from Mr. Timler, the star of our previous highlight, into a different time zone. The Dons go on to win it big, 11 to two. So it's Columbus Catholic and Rib Lake playing for a trip to state behind me. Mosini also looking to keep their season alive against Altoona. We join them top of the third scoreless. Mosini runners on second and third. Keegan Jershley hits one out to behind the center outfielder. Mosini gets two runners home. They get another run in that inning. To the top of the fifth now, Mosini runners on first and second. This time, it's Trenton Dorn with a hit out to left field for the RBI double, but Altoona claws their way back. Bottom of the seventh, Indians lead cut to five to four. Runners on first and second, but it's Garrett Shoup with the strikeout to end the game. To move on to face Rice Lake in the sectional final. As for other early scores, Spash downs Eau Claire Memorial. They face Eau Claire North in the final. Stratford falls 5-2 to two to Oconto. They will face Amherst after they beat Kiwani and Iola. Also still alive with a win over Gibraltar, Washington Island. Now, as I said, we will have highlights.